from 1980s to 2010, population of Central Asia is doubled. Doubling means it's uh, our requirements for food and energy is doubled as well. So that's why um, when it comes to the, we shifted from the cotton focused uh, uh, economics to the uh, food security economics now, but still some uh, issues or different interests exist between upstream uh, hydropower generation and uh, irrigated agriculture in midstream and downstream of, of our rivers. So what, yeah, where do the problems arise then? The problem is uh, water in reservoirs is required to be stored uh, in winter for irrigation, but at the same time for hydropower, water should be released in winter. So uh, there is shortage of uh, conflict of uh, interest is there. Now, it, it, many people see uh, the states as being constantly arguing with one another over resources like water. Do you think that picture is fair? Uh, Cooperation is there, but it's not easy because interests are the, uh, different, uh, competing interest, interest for water. So it creates sometimes uh, mismanagement. Mismanagement should, which, which we should avoid. Yeah? Uh, but uh, water management was constructed in the basins, in our basins, uh, based on centralized Unique, unique state, but now it's there are four states, four, five states. So, so what water management should be also transferred to new new conditions as well, which were in the way. As, as the main goal is to converge uh, competing interests to water resource management to make them closer. How to this? This is an issue at this stage. So, water management has these huge challenges. Is that being realised? mainly at the state level or regional, or are you seeing a big community or sort of water user association participatory irrigation management approach? Yes, uh, if we will stay at the state level, uh, there are several agreements was adopted, if I'm not wrong, in 1992-1998 uh, to cooperate in water resources sharing. Uh, at the, uh, if we will say uh, at the community level, there are uh, on transboundary uh, small river basins, there are good understanding of uh, sites. Uh, so agreements are there, but implementation of these agreements, it's not, it, it doesn't come so easy. But the cooperation and agreements to use water resources, to share uh, water resources are there. But cooperation, uh, but implementation of these agreements it goes not so easy because we have water, water full years, water short years, and it, so this vulnerability of water resources brings sometimes issues. Now, you've been looking at technological solutions to some of these problems. What kinds of solutions are we talking about? Uh, regarding solutions, uh, I think all states, upstream, downstream, should go to in, uh, in the way of increasing water and energy productivity not only in agriculture what EMI is looking for, but in industry and uh, uh, municipal water supply as well. So by uh, reducing our demand for water and to energy, uh, we can come closer. But at the same time, we need to think for the groundwater resources development, uh, which is underdeveloped in the region, to end to increasing storages, especially underground storages, which have, uh, at least in the upstream, uh, very big advantage as compared to the surface storages, which are depleting water resources unproductively. Just explain what lift irrigation is. Lift irrigation means when you pump water from the source, say for, from the river to the foothills, so through several lifts, you're lifting to the upper altitudes, it's, it's, uh, it's lift irrigation. But that would presumably, I mean, if adopted on a, on a wide scale, that takes a lot of energy, right? Yes, it's uh, adopted in Central Asia in wide scale and it takes energy. That's why we need to think about energy saving. This way we will make closer needs of upstream and, and, and downstream countries. And are you seeing signs that any of these approaches are being adopted? No, we are on the way of adoption, definitely. Uh, there is a very 
high interest in lift irrigated areas to increasing water and energy productivity because it, uh, lift irrigated areas are most vulnerable to these uh, changes, to uh, expected changes of water resources. To, uh, now we have this competition between upstream and downstream, but climate change comes also. So uh, we think that lift irrigated areas should be a target of uh, EMI research in, in Central Asia, at least, uh, at least partly we should target this area, and we are doing this at this stage. And are you optimistic about the, the future of water management in the region? Yes, I think uh, technical solutions are there, but uh, I think with time, but the one uh, main uh, point that uh, any actions, any development should be through cooperative actions. If one side will be uh, moving to the resource development, it may bring misunderstanding. By through cooperative actions, definitely the solutions we will, with time, because it requires investment, definite. Uh, so with time, I hope we will solve these, these issues. Mm -hmm.